Oh, I think the industry itself is, is really getting out there. I think Hollywood and glamorizing the things, the, the prostitution, the women, you know, they have a heart of gold and men want to rescue them and all this kind of nonsense. And there's really money there and it's, it's very sexy. It's not sexy. Oh, get out and see it and see how sexy it is. It just isn't. Um, when you can't choose your partner, I mean, would men want to put up with that? I, um, and I remember one girl coming back from Malaysia she was brought back and she was on the airline with the director. And you know the tray of food they give you on the airline, the entree, it's about this size, right? And it usually has a foil cover over it. And she kept looking at it and the, then the director thought, oh, maybe she thinks you have to buy it. She has no, you know. She said, no, this is free, you can eat that. She kept looking at it and she said, what's wrong? She said, I would have to serve five men before I would get a little portion like this to eat. And if I didn't, I wouldn't eat. They wouldn't let me eat. You know what I mean? It's like, we can't glamorize this. It's like glamorizing slavery and saying, oh, well, gee whiz, you're working out in the fields, all that sunshine and fresh air in the fields, three meals a day, housing provided. I mean, that's how you can recast slavery. And what with the evil it was. And you can recast sex work as, you know, oh, well, there you go, it's all glamorous, plenty of sex, all the sex, I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's just, it's, it's so opposite of what you see when you see the girls dying in the streets and you're the only ones burying them. You see them so drug addicted, they're living in public toilets as they were in Hong Kong, under bridges. That's how they wind up so many. Or they're, brought, they're sitting you know, outside and procuring men for other girls, younger girls upstairs. It's, it's anything, but it's another world, it's an underworld. And most people never see it. And that's why I think Hollywood can glamorize it. Like they do gambling, gambling is fun, unless you're, you're seriously losing and your family, you know. So I think we've got to stop the glamorizing of any form of, of prostitution and, and or accepting it as, and using the word sex work because like, oh, this is acceptable for poor women to do it. It's not. Society owes these women and their children more than that. We owe it to each other. We're, we're one people. And if people, you know, like the people in the housing crisis and stuff, we owe people more than that. You know, these bank, I mean, people put other people in this situation and we don't help them out, and then that keeps a whole class like that feeding this industry. It's the industry, like the gambling industry. You see the casinos, it's more obvious. The brothels are a little bit more underground, but it's an industry in the same way. And of course, another thing is they want to separate prostitution and trafficking. And back in the 19, I believe it was 29 UN protocol, trafficking and prostitution was seen as one because you are trafficked into prostitution. And if you have prostitution, you're going to need constantly new, different, and, and they kept them together. They said in the 80s it began to separate because the sex industry did very strong lobbying. Oh, we're totally anti-trafficking. But prostitution is different. That's a choice. A woman makes a choice. She's empowered. What's empowered about it? Does any woman want her child in it? You want your son out on the streets for survival sex either? Come on. I mean, this is... So we've got to watch those tendencies to do that and, and stop it.